Hey y'all, I'm Kenya and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another setup video. I am super pumped to be filming this video because it's something that I've wanted to share for a while with you guys and it is all about my war binder that I will be using this year. So if you want to learn more and you want to see how I actually set it up and how I use it, then definitely stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so let's get started. So here I have my faith planner, and I also have the Teresa Collins vertical planner that I'll be using. I also will be using this A Spoonful of Faith cover. It was a collab done with the Happy Planner this year, and I love it. I also pulled this farmhouse, I think it's modern farmhouse block pad paper, as well as some filler paper in various colors. And I have my dividers that I have left over as well as some labels. I also have this little pin loop band that I think may go. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. But we'll just see if I think that it'll kind of fit the vibe that I'm going for. So yeah, those are all of my materials. This is really a simple setup. So I want to show you guys my war binder and my previous setup system. And so the whole purpose of this is just to help me on my faith journey. So in this thing, I had my um, vision board. I had um, some other notebooks, um, some vellum, as well as um, some acetate paper. I have some pockets and like I got these little covers, I think from 1407 planners. I don't know. I had, I've had this for a while, you guys. So I've had it for a very long time. And this was my baby for a while. I took it to church and everything. But I just feel like this new system will be better for me. Plus, I wanted to use the Happy Planner because I could pop things in and out. That was one of the things that attracted me to the whole TN system. But now that I'm like all about my disc, I just was like, I got to do a war binder setup with it. So here I'm just trying to decide which disc I want to actually put it on. And I'm looking at this, the blue disc because I think that blue in this cover is so pretty i love this cover you guys i did a review on it a while back so be sure to check that out as well as my 2021 planner setup because you guys i'm talking about this but i'm just trying to see like what i'm feeling and i don't know that blue caught my eye but i'm really thinking at this point once i put it on i think that i actually would prefer it to be on the gold disc from the Teresa collins planner i don't know what do you guys think i can always switch it out it's no biggie to it but i don't know i was just kind of feeling the gold more so and this cover does have like a hint of gold um, accent in it as well. So here I'm just going to go ahead and leave that cover on. And y'all, I love the Teresa Collins, like her whole vibe, her whole aesthetic is so pretty to me. It's so clean as well. So I'm saving this cover for another day. Um, just whenever I want to switch things out because I love it so much. That was one of the reasons why I just had to have this planner because the cover and the dividers and just how clean the planner is it's everything i really wish it was in a horizontal y'all i really do so hopefully maybe one day my dreams will come true so yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and take out I, as you can see i haven't taken the um like the paper off of this i love this back cover it says you can in the story like i love that y'all i love that they that she collabed with the happy planner and gave us this whole you know vibe so I'm going to go ahead and stick that on and I decided to keep only four months in here I think um, initially I said I was going to do three but I'm going to do four and if you guys haven't watched that video um, please do but I do go into detail and tell you how I'm going to use this planner and my whole purpose is to do my prayer journal with this Teresa Collins vertical planner. I don't know if I'll be using the actual currently pages even though I love them I'm gonna see if I can if I don't want to put too much on myself but if I do decide to come up with a fun way to do it I will definitely let you guys know maybe keep up with some prayers that were answered possibly on this page or something throughout the month I was thinking kind of I don't know you guys tell me if you have any ideas in the comment section I would love to hear your thoughts 
Okay, so I'm gonna pop this on and like I said, I kept four months in and I'm gonna do that so that way I can just switch it out three times this year. And I'm just gonna stick these in and I'll put those in later. Now I'm going to go ahead and figure out what I want next in the planner. I'm thinking that I'm gonna go ahead and put my dividers in so that way I can kind of know you know where I'm at since I started with this planner it was kind of easier to just go ahead and take those out but I have these dividers and I got these from Hobby Lobby um, not too long ago I got I picked up a couple of extra packs because I knew I wanted to do this system and I knew I didn't have enough um, and I do like the cleaner look I kind of I do wish they were all clear um that way you know it can be clean completely across but it doesn't bother me i like the sands on it play your dreams uh, you know you are capable of amazing things i believe i got that one out of the home extension pack i want to say don't quote me on that i want to say that's what that's no no actually no it came out of a journaling um i believe accessory pack and I'm checking here because you guys know there's like a little film on these dividers and bookmarks and stuff from the Happy Planner. So I'm checking, but I just decided it'll come off eventually. I never can really find those things. If you guys have a trick to get that off, let me know. Also, um, this is the life. <laughs> so I'm going to pop these in. Like I said, I love the sands on them, so they don't bother me. And I'm going to pop them in and decide the order that I want my actual word binder set up to be. So if you guys are confused with how I'm, what I'm saying when I say word binder, if you guys ever remember the movie The War Room and how she had a closet to where she could go write in her prayers, her scriptures, and she could just really talk to God and, you know, fellowship and commune with God this is kind of my way because um I came across this idea actually on YouTube a few years ago and you know around the time that the movie came out and I thought that it was such a good idea if you don't have a space inside of your home to kind of create that whole vibe I felt like this was a great alternative and I actually love you know talking with God and spending time with God and I really got into prayer journaling a couple of years back it was really the only type of journaling that I ever did um prior to last year so um this war binder system really got me into that and what I keep in my war binder system and I'll go into detail about each of these sections um as you can see I'm switching out the order here so I decided to put my prayer journal as the second planner um the first planner my faith journal is where I do my daily devotions and I actually use the bible app for that um but yeah I decided to you know really use this system to you know, document the things that I'm learning at church, the things I'm learning on my spiritual walk, any spiritual books that I'm reading, um, Christian books. I like to jot down notes in them. I actually write in those books too, but I do like to take additional notes. Um, if I hear like a sermon or a good Christian talk, I like to take notes and pop those in. Anything inspirational that I find throughout the year, I'll pop those in as well. So for this section, I'm actually going to be using the um, block pad here. And this is going to be for my church notes. I do like this paper and I didn't think to actually separate it. I just took off about 15 pages um, to start me off. And I love that it's white, like it's a clean white page on the back so I can really kind of you know do some mapping and do whatever I feel that I need to do for that particular sermon and then when we talk about it on Wednesdays for our house church I can actually write additional notes and hear the thoughts of you know my church family and you know what they got from the message and you know we can just talk about it and write those things down so I like to have that there then I also like to do bible studies on my own or with a group of people um, me and my husband we tend to do them together so and like when we're going deep into certain books of the bible like you know revelations the book of Daniels the book of Matthews is where I've been um, towards the end of 2020 um, I 
like to write those notes out and so I can have them for reference like because what I love about the word of God is when you read it one time and then you go back and read it it can give you something completely different God opens more up to you so I like to keep tabs on that and so I thought these pages were perfect and then the last page the last section is my power scriptures I you guys am absolutely just in love with power scriptures, I believe that you should affirm the word of God over your life. And these are scriptures, not just from memorization, um, but for you to really, really like take in and to um, really understand the meaning and the things that God, are, God is saying about you and to you. And I love that, y'all. So here I'm just labeling my sections. And so, of course, my first section, I'm, I went ahead. I'm going to switch out the faith because it kind of got a little wonky. <laughs> towards the end of last year so I'm gonna replace it and like I said I use this planner to do my daily devotions I like to use the bible app um, where I will actually go and like pick devotions like normally for a week and I would like write them out and everything and sometimes I actually have been I started decorating that planner as well um, so I may actually show you guys that I've showed it in the past so I may I really want to do a plan with me some more plan with means I guess with that so hope I hope to get to share that with you um also I'm going to be looking for my prayer journal and I hear I decide to use of course they don't have like Christian specific labels on this outside of the word church and faith I believe but I decide to use daily because I believe prayer is a daily thing um, it is for me and of course I'm going to be journaling in this every day so I thought daily would, would work just fine with that and then for my church notes or my sermon notes or message notes I chose the word church to label that section and then now I'm to my bible study section where I'm going to go be going deep into different studies and like studying people in the bible and things that I'm trying to learn and take away from each and every one of them so I decide I thought this was a very good label to use um but I decide to go with um dig in it's on here somewhere I'm kind of searching for it and I'm looking I'm reading through to see what's you know what's I guess what fits the best but I end up going with the word dig in because I thought that was the best way to uh, you to say what I'm actually trying to do I'm going to be digging into the word of God and going deep and really consuming what he has for me so I chose dig in also I'm going to try to figure out what I want to use for my bible study notes oh, well no these are this is my scripture section and I chose remember this you want to remember what God says about you uh you want to remember who your identity is in Christ and so that's my goal and so when I write my power scriptures down whatever it's going to be related to I want to make sure that I remember those and I plan to do some fun projects and to make those cuter this year than I did last year so and not just write them out but you know actually make some cute pages so yeah that is my faith planner set up you guys so now I want to show you my bible I'm just going to insert this in here because I love my bible I got it last year I got these um these tabs from Alicia Michelle shop on Etsy I love them and I labeled them and I put some um washi tape at the end of my pages and you guys so my method to bible journaling is not the typical artsy way because I actually try to get in and like get a lot out of my pages and I wanted to leave myself room to write but I do like to doodle a little bit and get in it and draw in it as well so I decided to go with the method of micro Bible journaling and that's what I'm just showing you here here's a little bookmark of me and my husband um, but I like to do that and these are the pens that I use um, I just attached my happy planner pouch to my Bible and I love these sharpie pens you guys I also use little sticky notes as you can see but I love the sharpie pens they come in a variety of colors and I notice that I tend to not get as much bleed through and I also can use them in my planner so yeah y'all that's pretty much it for my war binder set up I hope that this video brought some light to you know what 
It is all about is really just focusing in on your faith with God and the things that you're learning about the word and to help you. And if you come across a difficult time, the things that you study, you have a reference. So here's my one of my favorite scriptures. Do not be afraid for I have ransomed you and called you by name for you are mine. I love that scripture. One of my most favorite scriptures ever. So, yeah, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and share with your family and friends. Let me know if you will be setting up a faith planner or war binder system. I would love to hear your thoughts thoughts and as always i love you guys thank you so much until next time bye